Welcome to my YouTube channel Bio World. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification about upcoming videos. Today we will discuss the concept of eukaryotic cell. Scientists categorize all organisms into five major groups. Kingdom Monra, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Planty and Kingdom Animalia. The first one, Kingdom Monra as prokaryotic. This group possesses prokaryotes organisms. It does not has a true nucleus and no membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotes are simple and ancient organisms or cells. Prokaryotes are unicellular or single-celled organisms that means whole body is composed of one cell, bacteria, and blue-green algae are examples of prokaryote organisms. And, this is a prokaryotic, bacterial cell that looks something like this. While, other four kingdoms are, eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotes has a clearly defined nucleus. It has membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotes are complex and modern cells or organisms. Eukaryotes are almost multicellular and also single-celled organisms. Animals, plants, fungi, and protists are examples of eukaryotes organisms. Now we are going to concentrate over the eukaryotic concept of the cell. Eukaryotic cell. The term, eukaryote, is derived from Greek word, eu meaning good, and karyon, meaning kernel. It translates to, good nuclei, that meaning, the cells that have a true nuclei. So, eukaryotic cell is defined as, a cell or organism that has well-defined nucleus with membrane-bound and non-membrane-bound organelles is called a eukaryotic cell or organism. Cellular organelles including, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, lysosome, peroxisome, glyoxysome, chloroplast and non-membrane bound ribosome, plasma membrane. Cellular organelles. A common eukaryotic cell contains the following organelles, such as plasma membrane. It is an outermost bilipid layer that surrounds the cell and cellular organelles. Plasma membrane play role in variety of functions such as, protection of the cell, transport of material in and outside the cell, cell signaling or communication and etc. Nucleus. Nucleus is a double membrane bound organelle mostly located in the center of the cell. It contains genetic material DNA or chromosomes of the cell. Ribosome. It is non-membrane bound organelle that play role in protein synthesis or production. Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a complex network of membranes that function as lipid synthesis, protein synthesis, lysosomes and microbodies formation. Golgi complex. Golgi complex is a series of flattened membrane sacs. Golgi complex involved in packing, modification and processing of proteins, glycolipid and glycoproteins formation. Lysosome. Lysosomes are membranous sphere-shaped vesicles filled with hydrolytic enzymes that play role in digestion of macromolecules, old cell parts, microorganisms and breakdown of cellular wastes and debris. Cilia are small, slender, hair-like structures present on the surface of some animal cells and mostly protozoan cells. Cilia play role in locomotion, feeding and sensation. Flagella. Flagella are long hair-like structures found in bacterial cells, some algae and animal cells. Flagella involved in locomotion of a cell. Some special flagella are used in few organisms as sensory organs that can sense changes in pH and temperature. Plastid. Plastid is a double membrane bound organelle which is found only in the cells of algae and plants. Plastids is responsible for food production, food storage and cell coloring. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a non-membrane bond long spherical rod shaped structures. Cytoskeleton provide mechanical support and shape to the cell. Centriole. A centriole is a pair cylindrical shaped, hollow tube like organelle present near the nucleus in animal cells. Centriole helps to organize microtubules that serve as skeletal system of the cells and it also play role in cell division by facilitating the separation of chromosomes through spindle fibers.